Good morning. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, here's something over here. Oh yeah, check it out. Got a moose across the river there. Looks fairly young, so I wonder where Mama's at. I'm sure I'm gonna run into plenty of wildlife here in Wyoming. The owner of this Airbnb was nice enough to bring me down a little breakfast sandwich, which is awesome over, because there's no place to eat around here. Once I was done riding yesterday, I went to go check out the local bar, which happens to be just down the street from here. The owner was very nice. She was showing me all the local routes, off-road, on-road, on her laptop, so I have a great idea of where I'm actually at. Instead of hopping back on the main highway, we're gonna go a few miles out of town, hop on, I believe it's 117, head west over McDougal Pass. Let's get rolling. Here we go. Ready to roll. That would help. First gear helps. Unfortunately, temps will drop to about 50 degrees, possibly lower once we get to the top of that pass. Here's the bar, Green River Bar. Highly recommended, great little stop. The only little stop in town actually, that's the only business open here in Daniel. And we're only going a mile. That will get us to 117, headed west into those mountains. Oh, it's already chilly, it's 49.1 right now. Here we are. Taking a right, Ryegrass Road, Cottonwood Creeks. One seventeen, Cottonwood, Ryegrass. And was funny at the bar yesterday. So I asked her, I kind of like going to these, you know, off the beaten path roads. She just said, be careful up there. Mainly wildlife. I didn't bring any. She just said if you see a bear or something, just rev your engine, which, oh, oh yeah, oh, great, rev my engine. The thing that we gotta watch out for here is all the cattle. There's a couple on the road. Once we get over McDougal, which I believe that's what it's called, there'll, there'll be a sign up here. Ooh. Once we get over McDougal, we're going to take a right north. That's going to get us into Alpine. From Alpine, I'm headed to West Yellowstone, the town of West Yellowstone. We're about 200 miles away from Daniel if we were to take the fastest route. So going this way, I'm not really sure. It might be about an eight hour day. make better progress if there wasn't cows just chilling every quarter mile. <laughs> it's only 34 miles to get to Cottonwood Road, which is when we get back down off the mountain to take a right into Alpine. So not terrible. If I keep a pace, we could probably get there uh, under an hour. <laughs> Baby one. 9 a.m. Let's see how long. 
long this takes us. Just about to hit the mountains. Oh yay. Ice warning showing up on the bike. Let's see what the temp is. 39.5. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's June 20th. Alpine 50 miles. McDougal Gap. Straight ahead. Yep. Bridger National Forest. Here we go. something rambling back here how the heck did I forget did I forget to latch this maybe it came undone let me lock these just in case I do not want to lose a cover all the way out here what do you think of McDougal so far I haven't seen a single soul just yet It's not getting any colder just yet. 39.7, 40 is kind of hovering around there. Oh, starting to see snow on the ground. Let's see, we're going straight. But what's over to the right? Uh, just a sign up here. Let's take a peek, I guess. It's over here. Watch the trailhead. Bridger Teton National Forest. Let's get back on the main path. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Well, not really a short time. We're in no rush. But we gotta keep the pace going. I still wanna get there before sundown. Oh yeah, check that out. downhill from here 8.5 miles away from Gray's River Road and then we're gonna head north towards Alpine 
the town of Alpine. Oh shoot, I'm going right into that mud. Stay off to the left. on the road more like boulders down well I feel like we've been traveling lower and lower in elevation but the temp is stayed about the same 40.2 currently That's where that came from. This was an avalanche. Let me turn around and check this out. Someone was saying there, there was an avalanche up this way. Hey, down this way. I can't believe I made it this far. see the trees down that way how it came down there's still some bent over here boat down All right, let's keep rolling another avalanche area we have the creek down below Just about there, 3.5 miles. I may have set my pin slightly off on Gray's River Road. It wants me to take a left once I get there, but I gotta take a right, we gotta head north. Hey, it's getting warmer. 44.4, 44.6, looking good. Alpine to the right. 35 miles. He is in that. I doubt I have any service out here. Yeah, no service, so I can't reroute currently. Once we get to Alpine, I'll most likely gain service again. there almost there what are we at 92 miles yeah about 10 miles to go a little bit over 10 this is potholes galore <laughs> I'm doing my best to avoid the big ones but the little ones we just cruise right over marmot a couple of them on the right Potholes, I can just cruise right over. There's these freaking mud patches that, that are a bit tricky. You don't want to go into one of those going 50, 60.
I just passed the sign, the town of Alpine, eight miles out. So we're just about there. And I'm getting a slight rain drizzle. And now the drizzle has turned into a regular rainstorm. Getting freaking intense.